the living arrangements here would be just like being homeless anywhere else, but you're safe here. You know, they don't bother you. Hopefully it lasts for a while, but um, it's like a tight knit little family. We all come together when we have to and get, get done what needs to get done. There's really not much you can add to it. It all spins down to, we were in a bad spot. We needed somewhere to go. And Joel gave us a place where we could get better. We ain't got a lot here, but we got safe here, and safe is a lot. Wait, how much of a blessing is it to be here and know you're not going to be harassed? More of a blessing than, honestly, I even I knew like an hour ago. Because like, this is just, this is a really amazing moment. Because I've been working, I've been on the streets for the last three months with several jobs, and I haven't been able to find anywhere. Every single night I get harassed by police. I haven't hardly got any sleep. And now I have a place that I can actually keep my stuff so I can actually go take on more hours at my job. I can, like right now, instead of working six hours a week, I'm about to go start my full-time position in a couple of weeks. And the only reason I, have, I can do that is because I actually have a safe place to park my van where I can now fix it up and go get a little bit, or get this thing actually legal. And then as soon as a month after a paycheck, I can afford a house. I'm off the streets now. So you were like threatened a couple of times with towing the vehicle and, and having it impounded, correct? Yeah, yeah. And you had to talk your way out of that? Talk my way out of um, two impounds and uh, not to mention all the camping tickets the last few weeks I've talked our, all of us out of. Um, luckily, Sergeant Scott actually helped us out a lot last week or a couple of weeks ago when uh, the police were all harassing like about 15 homeless individuals. We're all about to get ticketed just for sleeping and... Uh, Sergeant Scott came down and talked about, like, you know, really showed that we're still human beings and, mm -hmm. like, we deserve to sleep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, yeah, it's nice to know that there's still people out here that are supporting us, helping, because, you know, we don't, we don't want to be out here. We're not trying to be a nuisance to society. We're just trying to work and pay taxes and have a place to lay our heads at night. So this is my friend Sienna, and Hello. she's... They just bought this van as a place for shelter, and they've been having a hard time finding a place where they're not going to be harassed by the police and threatened with yeah. towing. How, how cool is it to be here on the farm and know you're not going to be threatened with towing? It's incredible. I couldn't imagine a place like this anywhere other than this. I mean, if we were downtown, if we were in a nice neighborhood, we would be called on just for trying to live. Mm -hmm. And it's not fair that we're not allowed to live because we don't have enough money to buy, you know, a thousand square foot house. Mm -hmm. It's All nice right. to be accepted here. It is. Actually, what would you say to that, Larry? My mom's favorite quote, live simply so others may simply live. Simple things. It's, it's fitting. Mm -hmm. Fitting, especially for this kind of life. Simple yeah. things are better. So a lot of Enjoy times. the simple things out of life. Don't take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have a roof, be grateful. Exactly. And you guys are grateful because this, to you this is a roof. A place where you can call a, home. Four walls, a roof, and a door. <laughs> mm -hmm. That actually shuts. <laughs>